Ukrainian defense forces attacked an oil base in the occupied city of Rovenki, Lugansk region. Local telegram channels reported on this. As a result of a drone strike, an explosion and fire occurred in one of the reservoirs at the oil base. No casualties are reported. The information was confirmed by the Ukrainian headquarters. It is noted in the information that oil products intended for the needs of the Russian army were kept at the base. The extent of the damage is determined. During the strike on a military airfield in the Republic of Adygea, for missiles, 15 aerial bombs and 41 unified planning and correction modules were destroyed. The telegram channel ASTRA reports this, citing its sources. The publication also reports that the runway was partially destroyed. During attack on the Konskaya airfield in Adygea, one of the drones hit an ammunition depot. According to sources, as a result, an X-31 missile, three X-35 missiles and 15 UMBP aerial bombs detonated. Also lost were 41 unified planning and correction modules which are installed on aerial bombs, increasing their range by tens of kilometers, 20 UMPK, 500M, 16 UMPK, 505 UMPK. Another UAV hit the runway. It was partially destroyed, the report says. Let us recall that on the night of October 10, Ukrainian drones attacked the suburb of Makop in the Republic of Adygea, the drones struck the Konskaya military airfield, where the 272nd Training Aviation Palatsk orders of Suvorov and Kutuzov Aviation Base of the second category of the Krasnodar Higher Military Aviation School of Pilots named after hero of the Soviet Union AK Serov is stationed. The head of Adygea reported only about the attack and subsequent fire, in the suburbs of Makop, and also announced the evacuation of residents of the village of Rodnikovi, which is adjacent to the military airfield Konskaya. The attack on the airfield was not officially confirmed by either local authorities or the Russian Defense Ministry. However, it was confirmed by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Russia has redeployed about 50,000 troops to its Kursk Oblast, weakening its position on the battlefield in Ukraine. Oleksandr Sersky, commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine said this. Sersky noted that the Russians had transferred these forces from other fronts where they had been conducting offensive operations. We know that about 50,000 troops from other areas have been redeployed to the Kursk front, he added. The commander-in-chief emphasized that these actions by the Russian Federation have led to the weakening of Russian forces in other areas, particularly on the Zaporizhia, Kherson, and Kramatorsk fronts. This, of course, made it easier for us to conduct defensive operations, he said. The Ukrainian leadership said that one of the key goals of the operation was to divert Russian forces from Ukrainian battlefields. Sersky's figure is an increase from President Volodymyr Zelensky's estimation from September 19, when he said that 40,000 troops had been diverted to the Kursk sector. Even though Ukrainian forces continue to hold Russian territory in Kursk Oblast, the Russian offensive keeps grinding on in Ukraine's east. The Ukrainian military was recently forced to withdraw from Volodar, a town in the south of Donetsk Oblast that has withstood Russian attacks for two years. Heavy battles are also ongoing in Chasev Yar and Toritsk in Donetsk Oblast, and Russian troops are closing in on a key logistics hub in Pokrovsk. 
In the meantime, Russia seeks to dislodge Ukrainian troops from its home turf in Kursk Oblast, attacking Ukraine salient from the west.